y'all. So I'm walking down the street, right? Handling my business on the way to handle some business. And I get stopped by this guy. I mean, I've been getting stopped all day today, right? But this guy actually went way out his way to like make a conversation and stopped me. And he, of course he complimented me and was like, oh, you look very nice. You're beautiful. I'm like, thank you. And he hands me a card. And he was like, oh, have you eaten yet? I was like, no. He was like, can I take you out to dinner tonight? <laughs> I'm like, uh, I didn't even reply, right? And so he was like, um, yeah, I want to take you out. Y'all, I can't. I ain't even about to do it. I ain't about to do it, y'all. And New York is like getting back to normal again. I noticed that's a lot of little horny dick men out on the prowl. <laughs> the first thing I should totally go for it. Uh, let me tell you why I am not going to go for it, right? I thought about it, right? Because I actually gave my phone number, too. He was like, can I have your number? No, he didn't ask for my number. I gave it to him. Because I was like, here, just take my number. Or did he ask for I don't remember, you guys. I think he asked for it. But he wanted me to put... He wanted me to put my number in his phone, right? And I'm just like, no, you do it. And he was like, oh, you lazy. I was like, you lazy because you asking me to put my number in your phone when you can just do it yourself, right? And so he was like, I can tell. I can, like, see because I'm trying to walk away. You know how, like, you're trying to step away from the conversation? I put, like, one foot in the back, like, trying to, like, ease out, right? And he's steady, like... He said he's trying to like talk. He was really adamant about it, right? He was really trying to like, really trying to get my number, and really trying to get me to like say yes. And I was like, I'm about to go run some errands. I got some things I gotta do. But that's when I offered him. I said, just, just hit me up. He was like, oh, what's your number? I'm just like, and then I looked. Yeah, <laughs> this is it. Let me. This is the reason why I am not. Cause he looked really nice. Like he's a black male clean cut, got the waves, you know what I'm saying, looking sexy and all and all of that, you know, and I look, you know, I had, to, I, had to, I had to scroll, you know what I'm saying, I had to scroll his body, like, to check him out to see if he's even worth me giving my number, right, so I'm looking head to toe, size him up a little bit, and, I, and my eyes went down there, and I noticed that he had an erection, I was like, oh, I ain't, even, I ain't acknowledge it, right? But in my mind, I'm just like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you say stop with all the rules and just ride the way. Uh-uh. Not when you got an erection, you talking to me. Is your first time talking to me. You got an erection, a full-blown I'm like, why is his dick hard? Why? Now, he was a very respectful guy when he was talking to me, right? Asking me, like, oh, you know, where are you from? I was like, well, I'm not originally from New York. I'm originally from Florida, but I live here in New York now. And he told me where he lived at. And he was like, yeah, I came down to Manhattan to get some garments because I'm a fashion designer. He gave me his card. I was like, okay, this is his card. I ain't going to show y'all. <laughs> He's a fashion designer. I'm like, what's up with these fashion designers? I met a fashion designer when I was back in LA. What's up with these fashion designers just hitting on me? I'm like, I don't know. Is it something about me that I just attracts fashion designers? I don't know. But I was going for it. I was like, okay. Started to get, catch my interest, and he, you know, seemed like he got a little bit of swag. You know what I'm saying? asking me out for to dinner but i'm like hold on that's a little bit too soon like you saying go with the flow denver but don't you think it's a little bit too soon considering like we just crossed paths today i don't know this guy i go out with him just like no come he was like wanting to take me out and i'm just like hit me up just i said call me and we'll go from there and he, his look on his face was like a disappointment right just like why the sad face let's just call me he looking at me like he just I'm walking away telling him to call me right and he's just like paused just standing there in the sidewalk like I'm leaving him hanging I'm like dude you already got my number just call me he was like what time I was like he was like about an hour I was like nah because I'm just headed to go do my errands so this was probably like over an hour ago 
I'm like, no, that's not going to be enough time. I got to get home, you know, I'm sweaty, got to shower and all of that. This is just for us to talk. This ain't for us to go out. We're not going anywhere. He said, sometimes it's all misconstrued. What's misconstrued? What I saw, that's not me misconstruing. I saw an erection in his pants. Do y'all, okay. Is it appropriate for men to have an erection in their pants when trying to hit on a woman? I don't think that's appropriate. No. I know, I know. of course, erections are something that men can't control necessarily, but you can if you kind of take your mind off of it, but I don't know. I'm just like, why does he have an erection? Why is his dick hard? So that like lets me know, like, okay, he just got sex on his mind. He's looking at me like, just as somebody he can go have sex with. Because... It's like it's one thing to express interest in a woman when I bite her out, da, 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 but come on, like why why the erection? <laughs> he said I only live once. Nah man. I don't know this guy, number one. This is the reason why I have reservations, because I don't know him. We never talk. So he's kinda like I can tell from the way he was like approaching me and leaning forward he wants me he expects me to just say all right let's go out we talk on the phone i guess for a little bit tonight and then i allow him to pick me up and we go out to dinner that ain't happening i don't know this girl no you can't control it mm, nah i'm going with my first guy my, if i didn't see the erection then maybe I would not go out with him necessarily tonight, but I would probably like talk to him. But I'm like that erection kind of threw me off. I'm like hell no. And I know he can't help it. It happens, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like whoa. Like he literally had an erection in his pants, a growing erection. Like and it just kept growing. I'm just like okay, let me get out, out of here because. <laughs> Somebody looks like they horny, and I don't want him. I don't want to send the wrong message. Like we go out, and mm -mm. these guys in New York, I almost forgot how aggressive these men are. And I've been laying low, y'all. Your girl been chilling during this lockdown these past couple months. You know, I've been chilling. Of course, I'm on a dating app, but I haven't meet. Like, I haven't been really meeting anybody. I just been kind of just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like all the way chilling. You know what I'm saying? None of that going on. So, yeah, I forget. I almost forgot how aggressive these New York men are, man. They, these New York guys. No, I don't want to. I don't want to have to go through that, you know, back and forth. Like it needs to be an understanding and a level of respect. Cause we ain't gonna have all that going on over here. You say I will only understand if you're coming from a COVID nineteen angle. I ain't even COVID nineteen. I ain't, I ain't worried about no damn COVID nineteen. <laughs> I ain't worried about that. The why all the reservations? I just told you. See, you speaking from a man's perspective. And Denver, I looked on your profile. Aren't you married? Okay, aren't you married? Don't you have a family? Don't you got kids? What would you recommend to your daughter? Would you recommend your daughter not have reservations? I can't. I don't know. I just... I might check him out though. He on Instagram. He got his um, website, his IG, his Facebook on his card that he gave me. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Like I said, I saw that erection. I was like, I almost, about to, I almost jumped out my skin. <laughs> I was like, whoa, <laughs> what is going through your mind? And I know I'm wearing like these, what do you call this shit, spandex pants, like workout pants or whatever, yoga pants and tank top, but come on, like, come on, I try to control that, you know what I'm saying? Now, if I get it, like if we already had established a connection, he knew me, we were talking, you know, Okay, you know, it's the time and place for that, but I don't know. I'm very conservative. I'm not, I don't think, no. No, no, no. 
Dinner sounds nice though. Like, it really does. <laughs> I really, that's what I said I've been wanting to do, go out to eat. I actually want to treat myself to a nice dinner first before somebody else does. Take myself out and get a nice glass of wine. I actually might go get a bottle of wine on my way home of some red wine. I don't really drink red wine. I drink white wine. Uh, my favorite is Pinot Grigio. You guys already know that. Pinot Grigio. But I think I'm going to get some red wine tonight. I had been already said this before. And chill. But yeah, I do want to take myself out on a date first. You know, take myself out. Considering that like, we've been on this lockdown thing and most restaurants have been closed, you know. Well, all restaurants have been closed, really. Except for delivery. You know, I've been ordering delivery like crazy. So, it'd be nice to go sit out at a restaurant and eat some really good food. I'm very open-minded in my thinking, so I guess I see it. I'm open-minded, too. Listen, I'm open-minded, okay? Now, I haven't told you guys this because I don't tell people my business. I don't put my business out there. But, like, I've met a few guys since I've been back here in New York City when I moved back April 1st. So, I have. But after those guys i just been kind of chilling like really laying low and i was back in april you know what i'm saying so i just been chilling and yes i'm very careful when it comes to men i have to be like i encourage every woman to you know what i'm saying and i'm just going with my instincts but thank you for your input <laughs> thank you i don't know i don't know like i may because i'm pretty he gonna call me um he's, he already called my phone when I get my phone number, because I guess he had to check to make sure it was real. And after I walked away, I looked at my phone and noticed I had a missed phone call. So he had called me just to check to make sure the number was real. And I'm sure he's going to call. Like, I'm sure he's going to call. And I was trying to, like, debate, like, should I talk to this guy? I don't like having to set so many boundaries. I like to go with the flow. I do. But I feel like guys should already be intuitive enough, intuitive enough to be able to establish boundaries themselves like be able to know like what's appropriate what's not appropriate and dude ain't gonna like me because he looked like he trying to <laughs> i'm about to go y'all i'm gonna catch y'all later what y'all think <laughs> who's watching what y'all think should i should i go out with this guy or should i not <laughs>